What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks, you know who this is. It's uh, Mr. Warmack again. I'm back in the building. You know, follow me, you know, follow me, tweet, you know, privately, publicly on Out of, out of Focus. Go on my Instagram, look me up. Go on my three YouTubes down there. Red herring this, you know. Go at, um low rent and go at a dirty business well today I'm gonna talk about something like BAM here we are I'm gonna talk about today is uh, I'm gonna talk about a myth that has been long overdue to be talked about and dispelled today I'm gonna talk about the myth of crime is because of, of poverty and this is one of the biggest red herring urban myths urban legends that are out there because what people don't understand the real, the real key to ending poverty, I mean not to ending poverty, to ending crime. If you want to end crime, end your moral, have better morals. It's, it's, it's the lack of morality, it's the lack of you people caring, it's the lack of work ethic, it's the lack of, it's, it's, it's not, it's the lack of any type of social construct among people it's, it's the depravity of people because I hear this all the time and I, I, I got here's I, here's why I got sick of this argument we were talking me and a couple of my friends like I said we have so we have talks like this all the time I talk at work I'll talk to my friends you know because we can talk to each other we can cuz he said we can do whatever and then one one so there's a there's always a slick one talking well you know the reason why there's hot crime is because of poverty I'm like, well, hold on, man. I'm like, and I start. Uh, I was gonna. I, I was sick of hearing his excuse because he's trying. I see where he's trying to angle this one. On it, and I, I was like, okay, let's go with your. Let's go with your math, there, smart guy. In high crime areas, the reason that there's high crime is because there's poverty. And I'm only. I, I'm gonna use two examples in America. And I'm on. I'm, I'm just dispelling this myth with two examples. I can I can name many others, but I choose not to. I'm just using two examples. Number one, the Great Depression, and number two, after the Wall Street's burnt down. Now, in the Great Depression, that was the worst period economically for Americans. At that time, the dollar was wasn't was built then. But during that time, the Great Depression was the worst financial disaster in American history. Now, according to all you geniuses out there, and all you smart guys, crime should have been the size of a small South American nation. It should have been high crime. It should have been like, should have been like Caracas or Rio or Sao Paulo or Salvador or something like that. But no, it wasn't. It was the one of the lowest crime periods ever recorded. Now that being said, I have I shouldn't have to explain this, but a lot of you aren't don't catch on quick enough. I have there oh, there was crime during that period. It was a low crime period. But you, if you look at the look at what's going on now, we have the highest crime within what from the from the eighties on up. We have one of the highest periods of crime ever. Now. I'm not saying that I'm an altar boy. I'm not saying I did everything right. But what I am saying is, during this period, from the 80s up, we have the highest period, and the dollar is worth was worth more compared to then. And we have high crime when we were working. So let's let's make that clear. When Clinton was here, everybody was praising how there's jobs everywhere during the 90s. And, I, and I'll lose. That's be my third example. Clinton, if you like, we, there was quotes among us. If you didn't want to work during a Clinton era, you were just lazy to us. And so, and during a Clinton era, if you didn't, if you didn't have a job, you don't work. That was the, now. I know it wasn't like that everywhere. So, so please don't state the obvious to everybody. And if you don't think it's obvious, you should shut your mouth and not get in this conversation. But during a Clinton era, if you didn't have a job, that was your own fault. And the Clinton era was marred by the crack epidemic. And, like, that was the 90s. Like, during the mid-90s, I was in these hot spots. I seen what firsthand what was going on with a lot of hot spots. 
No, but I but I still was working in the mills at the time. I I had the luxury of be doing what I can do. But during the nineties, there was unemployment was one of the lowest periods. Ever had a job, ever buying houses, but the crime rate was through the roof. Now, back to the lecture at hand. The reason the crime rate is through the roof is because the lack, of, the immorality of people nowadays. If you look at the eighties, that's when the drugs like cocaine came on the scene. And if you look at if you look at the morality period of America around then, if you could chart it, as our morality was going up. The minute the eighties came into drugs, like like I know I know cocaine started in Hollywood. Don't give me the background information. If you can't come up with relevant information to a lot of these topics, please don't comment. Get one of your smart friends, the ones that like know something to comment. Please stay off this like these dumb comments that I keep seeing, especially on Facebook. You see a lot of dumb comments. But uh, the one if you chart the progress as cocaine and everything came during the eighties, our morality took a dip too. Cause then crime was rampant. I, I, we, we got child molesters. We got rapists. We, we got man. It's, it's getting to the point where it's getting ridiculous. And now you see the like if you go by the people that go that are quote unquote the real Christians. If you go by the some of the Bible, even the Quran. A lot of prophecies that are in these books that started playing out right now. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the destruction of Damascus is the sign. People look this up. You think I'm? You think I'm just some schmuck, some good-looking schmuck in sunglasses? No. If you look at the key, if you look at the destruction of Damascus, that's one of the signs. And they are like if one of the warned and all that. But Damascus, which Damascus is Syria, that's the sign. So I know this is we're living in like the end times. If you look look at all these, and please, and there's here's another sign though. Please jump off of these posts with don't say nothing about what the Bible's books and fairy tales. Look, if that's your opinion, I'm talking to the people. This you just want something to say because I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people that actually believe it, and I can and I'm pinpointing stuff that's matching up in this Bible, in the Quran. Like I don't have to say the Torah because the Torah is the Bible. But back to the lecture at hand. Back to the topic. If you look at the period of the 80s and we and we started with the cocaine and all the drugs and do for self, that's when our morality took a sharp dive. That's when it, it, it just went through the roof with like you can do whatever you want to do. And nowadays, you're not allowed to call that out. Like back in the, when I, I was born in the 70s, 1970 to be exact. Now as I was coming up, you can call stuff out. I've seen this happen. I've seen older dudes call stuff out. Like if older dudes do that now, oh, you're a hater. I don't know why you're hating on me. I'm not hating on you. You're just an asshole. Like a lot of stuff got called out, but you can't do that now because you're a hater. Like I, I, I don't. You can't even call stuff out in your own family without being called a hater. That's just real rap. But what it is is the it's the it's the lack of morality and the lack of proper having having responsibility. It's the lack of making good choices. It's 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 proper choices. This is what it boils down to. People say, "Well, I don't have an education. Whose fault is that? Go to high school, get your GED." If you if you weren't busy and like, and then I hear this excuse. Well, I had to sell drugs because my look, man, look, selling drugs is not illegal. That's not a that's a man made law. It's only illegal because you don't have the FDA's approval. Selling drugs is legal. You just don't have the right certification to do it. <laughs> That's all that is. But in fact, and if you would have stayed in school and learned how to get it, you could have been selling drugs. Especially now. But the lack of the proper choices and the, there's too many excuses out there. The problem is nowadays, and and, and this is this has been a, a cumulative effect of all this pampering and stuff. Nobody wants to make solutions except a few people, and a lot of people, were, and the majority of the people were too busy getting coddled. Oh, don't worry, it's just a phase. Well, that phase has lasted 30 years with some people, and now they have nothing to build on. And here's the part of, and, and here's what I love: these are usually the people that want handouts from you. Well, you work, you can, you can pay for it. Keyword: I work. Everybody should be able to work. Ladies, if, if, you're, if you're driving around with a grown man who wants to play PlayStation all day, you can't bitch about a guy who doesn't work because you chose that guy. I can't bitch about if I choose a chick who decides to be the town whore. If I still stay where I, that's on me. I got the decision up and leave. But it's the, if you look at it, it, people that say that poverty is the lead, is the lead indicator of crime, First of all, they're just they're they're giving they're just playing to the choir because 
Poverty is not. It's a lack of ch your choice. Like I said, it's the depression and right after, right after Black Wall Street burnt down. Nobody went crazy then. But now that like during the Clinton years, if you look at the Clinton years, it's the highest, highest number in the, and and ninety percent, ninety percent of the cities record the highest number of murders, rapes, crimes. Period. Like I said, I came up in the nineties. I remember dumb stuff like if you stepped on somebody's shoes, that could have led to a, a problem. Or if somebody had the new Jays, which by the way, Jordan is a slick person because he's spending money on private prisons. The in prison, you buying his shoes, but that's another topic for another day. I remember if you stepped on somebody's shoes, it could have been a problem. I remember if you just now get this, folks. This is why, and this is the people that know me. This is this is why I am the way I am. I remember going to Brooklyn, and Jersey, and Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, you know, Detroit, Chicago, Baltimore, D.C. Buffalo. I remember going to these cities, and they and they all had the thing they had in common. I know it was like that out west. I just never went out there. That, that well, I, only, I was only out west like one time, but not during the nineties. But uh, during the nineties, the big thing is staring. That led to a problem. Or what it was is it was just it, the, I ain't gonna lie. I had fun in the nineties. I hated a lot of stuff that happened in the nineties. I, I I have to tell the truth. Because, like I said, it, it was guys like, it wasn't guys like me, per se. Like, I, I, I may have had my hand in some of this stuff, but not the stuff that you think I would. But, I, like I said, I, I prevented a lot of stuff from happening also. So, it wasn't like, you know, we, 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 uh, my, me and mine, we ran wild, wild, I should say. I have to admit that. But it wasn't to the point where I was just reckless. Nowadays, you can be reckless, so. At the end of the proverbial day, look at it like this: You gotta understand every choice that you make will either it won't come the it'll come back to either do you good or bad. It might not do you good or bad right then, but every choice you make, will, sometime in your life, is gonna come back to do you good or bad. See, I like when people say, "Well, they give me all these excuses." But if you look at their life, you can when and where. What happened and why Why right now that they aren't happy with their life to what they should be doing today? Like, I know people, and this is, this is real, we all know people. I know people who party their life away, don't give, didn't give a darn about, you know, current events and stuff. And current events are happening to them right now. And now they're crying the blues. And, they all, and like, you know these people, they always got a sad story. I'm tired of hearing your sad stories. Because a lot of you guys had choices and you, you had shots. A lot of people had better shots than what I had. Like I said, I wasn't a popular character growing up. I was shunned by the community. It was like coming up kind of, you want to say. But I took advantage of my opportunities. And like I said, my parents taught me to hustle. They taught me legal hustling. And I have to hate, hate to tell you this, that that translated over to the streets. And like I said, I, and now, like I said, it just got to the point. I just didn't want to, I didn't want to live in prison for the rest of my life. You know, because like I said, I got kids now. And like I said, a lot of, I know I know dudes that just didn't care. And I'm sitting beside them. I'm like, they straight. I mean, what I mean is they didn't care about their life. Now, now, now this is real. Now, if you don't care about your life, you think they're going to care about my life? I, don't, I mean, these are, and these are my friends. And there's some that are my friends today. Like I said, I always keep my friends. I don't care how crazy they are. But like I said, I rode with them because that was the situation. Like I said, I made that choice. I knew if I hung with some of them where I was going to end up. And I just had to wise up because I was like, nah, I ain't going to. So like I said, I, I, I still had a, I had a J-O-B. That was no problem. But I had to wise up because like I said, I seen, I seen people getting arrested left and right. And there was a lot of people getting arrested for stuff they weren't doing. But they were going to catch up And was doing something real big. And so they do is they, they dangle them up uh, like, hey, we'll release you. I mean, and nowadays, it only takes getting cash on time and throwing a skid bin in the county for them to snitch on you. But, that's another topic for another day. The fact remains is, poverty is not caused by crime. No, yeah, poverty doesn't cause crime, my fault. Crime is, crime is caused because you want that brass ring a lot quicker, and you want to achieve it quicker than other people, and you'll do whatever you want to get it. That's it. If you make better decisions and better choices, I'm not going to say it's always going to work out for you, but that's life. You gotta understand. You're gonna come up every once in a while. You're gonna come with a fail here and there. 
Nobody is 100% perfect. Like I said, I've been lucky enough. I just I just know the ways. So I hope these videos help some of you coming up. And I got to go right now. I'm going to make another podcast or something else. I don't know. I'll check. I might do another ISIS one because these guys are looking like they monsters. So I'm going to get back with you guys. You know, I right, have a good one. Enjoy your weekend and, you know, no drunk driving. Peace.